this is the finalized shape that I went for with the wand. I got some nice sharp edges on here to make it look more like it's a, a gemstone on both ends. You can already see it here while it's still in the its rough phase. So I'm going to do some wet sanding to it before I uh, start to paint brush on some clear coat resin and I'll probably do two or three coats on the gem portions and I'll probably do four or five maybe on the stick part because it's still a very weak stick and since it wasn't actually stabilized properly um, I want it to be really sturdy and then after all of that I'm still going to plan on putting like a red collection of resin in this little well here and I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to put some lines or like veins rather into the branch to look like um, more like blood flowing so it would be like some red res resin um, veins but it depends on how sturdy I feel that the branch is because it still is pretty flimsy in the I don't want to lose any more bark but we'll see after I uh, whoops after I polish everything else off here Now that I have this sanded to the shape that I wanted and I uh, smoothed it out with some uh, higher grit sandpapers, not all the way because I know that when I put the coatings of resin over the gem portions, it'll get rid of all the scratches. Um, what I'm going to do now is drill a small hole into this portion here and place this small hook so that I can uh, hold it from this hook and brush on the resin and I'm not going to worry about the hole that I'm going to make because after the resin layers have cured on the around it I'm going to take this out and I'm going to make this section with resin and red so this is basically just so I can hold it up and brush on the resin So now what I'm going to do is find a place to hang this up so that I can uh, put resin on the other side. I have a limited workspace so I have to uh, do that off camera. Here is the wand after a uh, brushing of resin. Um, the wood section came out pretty well. And overall the um, red gem section came out decent. It will need a, another couple coats probably. There's some spots here on the main larger portion that are missing some resin and it looks like for back here I had some gathering some drip that I'm going to have to go back and sand off and reapply resin which is fine because you can probably not make it out as much in the camera here but there's some um, sanding marks from the belt that still did not get covered up by the resin 
as it usually does, which means that it needed more um, finer sanding. So I'm going to redo that part as well. So there you have it. This is the completed Blood Magic Wand. I have to say I had a blast making it, and it pretty much turned out the way I envisioned it when I first found this uh, branch some time ago. I definitely foresee myself making some more magic wands in a similar fashion in the near future, and it's given me plenty of story ideas for some uh, future comic books and illustrations that I can do as well. And yeah, I am definitely pleased with the way this turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you're planning to make some wands of your own, I hope it gave you some good ideas, and maybe gave you some uh, new ideas of way to do things differently than I did. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. And thank you again for watching.